This is the 3D Viewmaster Fairy Tale Peter Pan by Walt Disney. The Darling family lived in a three-story house in London not too long ago. Besides Mr. and Mrs. Darling, there were Wendy, John and Michael, the littlest. The nurse was a Newfoundland dog named Nana. It was Nana who started it all when she slammed the window on Peter Pan's shadow. Miss Darling had to roll the shadow up and put it away in one of the dresser drawers. Viewmaster Reel 1 Flight to Neverland, Picture 1 Miss Darling and Nana tucked them all in and left. Then Wendy began to tell her story to John and Michael. She told them all about Neverland, where Peter Pan lived, and just outside the window, listening. Picture 2 Soon all the children were fast asleep. Then a tiny light came streaking in the window. It peeked into every drawer turned every pocket inside out. Then Peter Pan flew in and called. Tinkerbell, have you found my shadow? The light stopped. It was a tiny fairy. Like a tinkling of golden bells, her voice told him to look in the drawer. Picture 3 When Peter had opened the drawer and found his shadow, he tried to stick it back on with soap. The shadow just flitted around the room with Peter in hot pursuit. All the commotion they made finally wakened Wendy. Picture 4 Wendy had the answer. She sued Peter's shadow on. Peter was grateful and he told her all about Neverland and about the lost boys who had no mother. Come away with us to Neverland, Peter urged Wendy, and be our mother. Oh, I couldn't leave John and Michael, she protested. Besides, I can't fly. You won't have to leave John and Michael, he said. I'll teach all of you to fly. Picture 5 Peter told them all to think good thoughts and fly away. They tried and tried to fly, but always fell to the carpet. Peter crowed in glee. Oh, I forgot the fairy dust. Tinkerbell sprinkled them. After that it was easy, they flew. Picture 6 Downstairs, Nana barked. Come, Peter cried, and out the window flew Wendy, John and Michael up into the starry sky over London. They followed Peter and Tinkerbell on their way to Neverland. Picture 7 Hours later, how many they never remembered, they rested on a cloud and Peter pointed downward. It was Neverland. That's Captain Hook's ship in the bay, Peter explained. The Indian village is on the right and there's Skull Rock opposite Mermaid Lagoon and wild animals everywhere. Viewmaster Reel 2 Captain Hook's Plot Picture 1 They landed at Hangman's Tree, which was the secret entrance to Peter's hidden house. Wendy! Peter told the lost boys, is going to be our mother and tell us stories. John and Michael can join your Indian hunt while I show her Mermaid Lagoon. Picture 2 The Mermaids were as jealous of Wendy as Tinkerbell was, but Peter coaxed them into singing and playing as usual. Wendy, of course, was delighted. Picture 3 At the sound of oars, Peter suddenly called out, Hide! 
Soon Captain Hook and Smee rode up in a dinghy. They had a captive. It's Tiger Lily, the Indian princess, Peter whispered. They're going to leave her to drown on Maroona's rock. Picture four. Captain Hook sat on a high rock, waiting for the rising tide. Peter crept up behind him and snatched the dagger from his belt, and the fight was on. Many fights ago, Peter had cut off the pirate's hand and tossed it to a crocodile. Ever since that day, the crocodile had followed Captain Hook, around hoping for the rest of him. Fortunately for Hook, the beast had swallowed a ticking clock, so the pirate heard it and was warned in time. Picture 5 Tick, tick, tick sounded through the clash of blades. Hook turned white and fell. The crocodile! Smee rode up just in time to save his captain. But Wendy and the boys had already managed to free Tiger Lily. Picture 6 Captain Hook bargained with Chell's Tinkerbell. You tell me where Peter Pan's secret house is, and I'll get rid of Wendy for you. I won't hurt Peter. Picture 7 Homesick, Wendy and the boys decided to fly home. Saying goodbye to Peter, they went up the secret exit and right into the hands of the pirates. Tinkerbell had betrayed them, just as Hook had planned. The little fairy was shocked to hear Captain Hook say, Lower away, me. The time bomb will finish off Peter Pan at exactly noon. Viewmaster Reel 3 Walking the Plank Picture 1 On the pirate ship, when Hook was not looking, Wendy worked an arm loose and freed Tinkerbell. The fairy streaked off as fast as she could go to save Peter Pan. Picture 2 Lonely, Peter Pan had moped around all morning. Now he wanted to open what he thought was Wendy's present. Stop, tingled the little fairy. It's a time bomb from Captain Hook. Picture 3 Turn pirate or walk the plank, demanded Captain Hook of his captives. The boys hesitated, but Wendy cried out, A pirate? Never! For this outburst, Wendy was first on the plank, head held high. Off the end she went. They waited for the splash. Instead, picture four. A gleeful growl was heard. Rushing to the side of the ship, they saw it was Peter Pan. He had reached Wendy in the nick of time and caught her just inches above the waves. At them, boys, rang out his battle cry, and save Captain Hook for me. Picture 5 The boys were so enraged over the pirates, treatment of Wendy, that they drove them off their own ship. Peter chased Captain Hook up the ridging until a line broke. The pirate captain fell with a terrible cry. Below in the water, the hungry crocodile, crocodile was waiting. Picture 6 The boys, especially Michael, were still homesick. Tinkerbell sprinkled the whole pirate ship with fairy dust. It sailed across the skies as nobly as it had ever skimmed the ocean. They were soon over the great city of London, nearly home. Picture 7 There was a light in the nursery, and Miss Darling lay asleep across Wendy's bed. We're home! We're home! Their cries awakened her. By the time she got to the window to thank Peter for bringing her children back safely, he was gone. 
High above, they saw the pirate ship crossing the full moon, carrying Peter Pan back to his friends in Neverland. We want to add new videos every day, so please subscribe to our channel. And if you had fun, thumbs up.